Hello and welcome to the second part of the Making a Wheel tutorial series. Uh, in the first part we made the tire and the rim and now we are going to be working on the spokes. Um, you can either make the central hub of the wheel first or the spokes. It, the order, um, it can matter sometimes depending on how you want it to look. I'm going to go with the spokes, it's a little bit more fun and then once we have the shape of the spoke, we can decide on how we want to do the hub. So right now we are going to actually make the spokes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the side view to do this. And I'm going to go into my quick menu down below here. And I'm going to tap on symmetry and I'm going to activate the X axis symmetry to do this. Because essentially whatever I make in terms of spokes, I want to make sure that it's relatively symmetrical. All right, make sure that I work on a new layer for the spokes. So I created a new layer, I selected that layer, and I'm actually going to come over here and name that layer really quick. Just name it spokes. I should have named the other layers before. I'm actually going to do that really quick. I believe this is the rim. Yep, and this is the tire. There we go, so now we have everything labeled and I'm on the spokes layer. And so now let's just draw something. Now, if we want uh, just one spoke, we can do that. Anything that you draw right now on uh, one side is going to uh, basically be reflected on the other side. So if I draw a spoke like this, you'll see that it's reflected and then that curve exists in space, kind of in the cent center of this wheel and that's okay we can change the profile shape of that in a little while. Uh, to keep this simple, I think I'm actually going to go with a very simple uh, shape for the spoke right now, and then maybe show you how you can do something a little bit more complex after that. So we're going to do a spoke similar to that. Go back to the side view, and I'm actually going to undo that and just draw one straight line here. This way I can edit this to kind of give me something with a little bit more control. So I'm going to come in, add a few points here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and kind of tie it into the rim. So have this come up a little bit like that, almost into the rim. Now, where this little point is here, down here, this is your origin. So that your center, so keep in mind, you're probably going to have a hub somewhere around there. So to make this spoke to help uh, in designing the wheel, I'm actually just going to draw a circle really quick. Oh, I have symmetry on. So make sure you turn symmetry on for just a second. Make a circle. And I'm going to drag this circle over here with the snap tool turned on. I'm just going to make something that will represent kind of the hub of the wheel, the center, the central part of the wheel. That's, that's pretty good for me. So there we go. Come back, turn symmetry back on, go to the side view. And now I have something I can work with. So back to editing this. I'm actually going to turn my snapping off. So right now I have snap to grid enabled. I'm going to tap that to turn it off. And now I have the initial curve for a single spoke. I'm just going to fine tune that really quick with the points. And that's pretty flat right now. Now, uh, most spokes are actually kind of, they have a curve, uh, a profile curve. So I'm going to come over to the front view here and I'm actually going to let's see at the front view. Yep. And I'm going to drag this point out here. And then this one. I'll select all of these and just kind of drag them over. Because they'll probably tie into the hub somewhere around there. So 
So now you see that I have a curve that's a little bit more complex in its shape. See if I can give a little bit more Uh, we'll go with something like that for now. That'll work. All right. Now what we can do is we can uh, turn, we're going to turn the symmetry off. And we're just going to create a lofted surface. Now there's two things we can do here. We can create a closed surface. I'm going to turn the symmetry off. We can create a closed surface and that'll actually help us later on. Uh, or we could just loft a surface between these two these two curves, but I would actually rather create a closed surface. And the reason why is I can actually add some, a little bit more complexity to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap and hold here to create a sketch plane point and then tap and hold on the other end and create a sketch plane point and draw a curve between them. And I'm going to do the same thing for the top. I'm just going to make sure I turn the rim off and the tire in order to do that. Same exact thing, tap and hold on both of those ends and then draw a line between them. You'll see that that line automatically connects. And the reason I wanted to do this is because if I tap in, on this curve here and edit it, I can actually add from the top view, I can add some curvature to this. And what's cool about this is it gives a whole different uh, feeling or shape to the wheel. So for example, if I do kind of an inverse curve between both of them, I'll get something a little bit more interesting in terms of the surface. Select all four of these. It's a closed shape. You see it's all orange now. And then I'm going to create a surface. And right now it's black because that was the last color I used. But if I come over and actually go into my color history and tap on the color of the rim that we used, you'll see that now there's something actually kind of cool going on there with that shape. You kind of have a bulge here, then an indentation there. And so you can play around with, with uh, this profile here and that will change the overall surface. So if I pull this out even more or add more points, that'll change the, the, the total overall look. Now I don't want to pull this out too much because I don't want it to have, be coming out of the rim. Just to make sure that I'm not already there, I'm going to come on and turn the rim on. And you can see that I've already exceeded the shape of the rim. So that might require me to just kind of push this whole, whole thing back. That's okay. We'll do that. Just select everything. And then we'll bring it back in just like that kind of have it come over and touch the edge just barely like that. Cool. And what we can do from there very uh, easily is we can just select these edge curves. Make sure you get all four of them. And we can just do an extruded shape from there. So I'm just going to, once I have those selected, just tap extrude, extrude back. We have our wireframe on. I'm going to turn that off. It's a little thick. I think I'm going to go for something a little bit more thin, something like that. And now we have our spoke. And same thing, just come around back here, close this surface off. Now you have your first spoke. It's okay that it's going, going through here because the tire, once the tire is on, is going to cover that up. So now we have a spoke. It's looking pretty good. And with that, we can now make an array of these. So I'm a little concerned because I might have made this base of the spoke a little too fat, but we'll see here. I'm going to come in and turn the rim and tire off for now. Go to the side view and select the whole object. I'll make a group of this. 
to make working with it a little easier. And now I'm going to create an array. So I'm just going to tap Array. And by default, I'll have five copies. And I'm going to drag this little green circle here down to this origin point. And it should snap. I don't know why. But you can see that the base here is a little, they're overlapping. It's not ideal, but it's not going to matter a whole lot because we can make the hub surround it. Ah, let's see here. Going to make the circle a little bigger. Select the spoke. Let's do the array over, drag this down. Huh. Usually when you have a circle like this, the green point will snap to the center of that circle. Anyways, I'll move that there. You'll see that I have an array of five spokes. Looks pretty good. And if we turn on the rim and the tire, now we're looking, we have something else looking pretty cool, actually. So that's the second part of how to create a wheel in this tutorial mini series. The next part, we are going to look at creating a hub. If you have any questions, comments, feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter channels and uh, continue on to the next part where we will finish this wheel. I hope this was helpful and we can't wait to see what kind of wheels you create. Take care guys.